So at Baidu, we are interested in helping people find what they're looking for. And that requires a lot of artificial intelligence. Um, basically, in order to understand people's queries, like for example, if you're doing a search on the web, uh, we need to understand what you're asking for. And we also need to understand all of the documents on the internet so that we can correlate them and, and perform the search. Um, Baidu is doing a lot of things besides search these days, but all of them revolve around understanding data that people care about, whether that's documents on the internet or spoken language. Um, and so figuring out how to, how to understand that and deliver it to people requires a lot of artificial intelligence. The Silicon Valley AI Lab at Baidu, we're focused on scaling machine learning uh, to uh, as far as we can go. Figuring out how to find large data sets and train really big neural networks on those data sets so that we can um, uh, make better ways for people to interact with computers. Our goal is to make interacting with computers as natural as interacting with other people. And so in order to do that, we focus on a lot of fundamental technologies like speech recognition, natural language understanding, and so forth. Um, we're really excited about future applications where people will be interacting with computers in much more natural ways, and we think it'll lead to a lot of really exciting new things. We uh, use GPUs in a lot of ways at Baidu. Um, one of the most important ways is for training our models. So we have large clusters of GPUs ranging from Tesla K40s to Titan X uh, that we use to train our models. And um, we really couldn't train our models without the processing power that GPUs provide. Training one of our models is really computationally intensive. It takes about 20 exaflops worth of work to train one model. And so if you think about it, it's just a staggering amount of computation. So we rely on the density of GPUs in order to train our models rapidly, uh, which helps us figure out what's wrong with them and sort of iterate so that we can make the models better and better. So that's one aspect where we use GPUs. We also use GPUs for serving our models to users at scale. So if you think about it, uh, once you've built a big deep neural network, uh, that's the first step. You've made some research progress, but then actually transforming that into a product that somebody can use requires deploying it. Um, and that's very computationally intensive as well. So we use uh, GPUs for that also. So artificial intelligence is a technology that can be applied in many, many different ways. Um, and so we're really excited about the impact that progress in artificial intelligence is having on a large number of different fields, um, both in terms of like products that consumers would use, as well as in terms of the scientific part of making artificial intelligence better. I'm grateful for the support that NVIDIA has shown to the artificial intelligence community, especially um, when it comes to uh, libraries and CUDA and sort of making an ecosystem uh, that helps us get our work done. I think, you know, there's a lot more involved in um, using GPUs than the hardware itself. And I'm really, I, I think NVIDIA is really unique in the way that they approach uh, the problem.